guys, Milk AA24 ET here, and today I'm going to do my oil change on my daily driver. It's a 2001 Honda Civic EX D17A2 engine. Um, so, I, this is just to show people how to do it on this vehicle. Hopefully, it helps some people out. So, some tools you need you need them. You can either use a 17 millimeter wrench or a socket, whatever you prefer. You'll most likely need something to get the oil filter off. Um, you know, you have your oil filter wrenches. I also have this little rubber strap thing you can use. Another trick too, if it's really tight, you can uh, spray some brake clean on a rag, and that'll give you more grip on the oil filter than you know your brake cleaner. I also have Simple Green and water to clean stuff up. Funnel makes it a little easier, and then something to drain the oil in. So let's get started. Alright, so if you have a front wheel drive car like this, you're most likely going to have to jack it up just to get to the oil filter. So if you look right there, there's that arrow on the little splash guard. That's a jacking point. So where the arrow points, that's the subframe that holds the engine up. You put your jack there and jack it up. And then I have jack stands holding, holding it up. If you don't have a jack, it'd be a really good idea to pick one up. I got this for 80 bucks at Harbor Freight. It's a real good jack. I've never had issues with it. You also want a set of jack stands. You don't just want to rely on the jack to hold the car up. Alright, while I'm letting that drain, I'm going to prime the oil filter. Um, it's not really 100% necessary, but I like to do it because I can. Um, if you're not going to prime it, you still want to put a small film of oil around the seal here. Not a lot, just a really tiny film. That's all you need. I'm try and balance two things at once here. What I'll do is I'll kind of tilt it and spin it around, and I'll get more oil inside the past the uh, filter media. That way, you spill less when you put it back on. I don't prime it all the way to the top. I just prime probably not even a quarter of a quart. I just like to get a good amount of oil in there. And I'm gonna put a small film of oil on the seal here just a small film like that you don't need to go overboard with it alright guys so it's been kinda hard but you can see that's where the oil filter is I already replaced it it's just I couldn't hold the camera at the same time and a light and then replace the filter it's just too much but basically that's it I already cleaned up after it and with the oil filters, you don't need to torque them down. You shouldn't ever use a filter wrench to put one on, only to take them off. Just hand tight's good enough. Like once the seal seats half turn, one turn at the most is all you need. Otherwise, you'll never get it off. All right, guys. Now I got the drain plug back in, the oil filter on. I'm gonna start filling the crankcase, and then we'll start it.
truth. I know it sounds like there's a rod knock at the startup, but it's not. It's just the AC compressor pulley that's making that rattling noise. You got oil pressure. So then now what I do is I'll just go and check the drain plug, make sure it's not leaking, there's no leaks from the filter. So after you start it and check the oil pressure, you always want to check the level. If you check the level before you start it, it'll be way overfilled because the oil hasn't circulated through the engine yet. Yeah, let's see if you can see that. Probably hard to tell. It's right on the full line though. So that pretty much concludes it for this episode. Hey guys, a couple things I wanted to add before I end the video. Um, when you're jacking up your car, you want to chalk the tires. So say you're jacking up the front, you want to chalk the rear tires and set the e-brake. And when you're underneath the car, you want to wear safety glasses just in case a piece of dirt or oil goes in your eye. And then I noticed I picked up uh, two subscribers within the last couple weeks. I'm up to 20 now, so that's pretty cool. I wanted to thank you guys. Um, so if you guys start leaving comments like, you know, you want a sticker or something, just leave a comment and I got some, I got a bunch of Amsoil stickers I'll start sending out and then I'll probably look into getting some zero degree garage stickers made up and then I can send those out. So like I said, just leave a comment if you want a sticker and then I'll get into contact with you and send you some stuff. And then, uh, that's it. We'll see you next time.